Preparedness for the Beginners. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. And you got to spend some good quality time with your family. Today, we are going to be talking about, in light of the holiday season, we're going to be talking about navigation with maps, GPS, a um, little bit of a compass. Um, we're going to be covering some of these things. And the reason why is, on Thursday, on Thanksgiving, at uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, now down here a lot of the big department stores will all open at 5 o'clock in the afternoon on Thanksgiving Day. But on at 4 o'clock, I got a text message or an email from all the different stores that I am affiliated with and given me a map of where all the deals are going to be located in their stores and which areas because we all know they don't put like electronics with electronics and and so on and so forth they spread it all toys is in toys it's you know the special big ticket items are all over the place you know they want you running all around like a chicken with your head cut off but hey you know it is what it is um, so I kind of got a chuckle out of that, but then I got thinking about it and I'm like, that would be a great thing to talk about on my video this weekend. For the perfect reason is, <clears throat> they send you out a map. So you know exactly where you're going, what you can find there, and how to get around the store to get to it. Now, you know, I mean, a lot of people, they go in groups and they break up and, you know, one person goes, grabs this one item and the other person goes, grabs that item and, you know, so on and so forth. You know, this way they get everything that they're trying to get on Thanksgiving or Black Friday. So, so they send you out, you get, you get this nice little map. Now, my concern is, in which I hope everybody does realize that I, I do these videos for the simple fact of, I want to bring awareness to certain things and cover certain things that everybody should be thinking about that I feel that are important and I'm devoted to try to do the best that I can do and bring you a most you know information and most detailed information that my skills will allow me to do but back to maps and everything else just wanted to say that you know I'm not doing this just to I am having fun doing it though I really do like doing these things um, but you know the whole point of this is for me to get the word out there and hopefully it helps somebody else out so first thing that everybody should do is go out and get you a pad pen pencil whatever and this is your emergency navigation now, I have to put my glasses on because as I get older here, I can't read the fine prints. Um, in which my mother did tell me when I hit 40, uh, that would be going. And well, that came and went when I hit 40, as she was right. And now I'm 50 plus and it just keeps going. I'm just wondering if it's going to stop. But you go out and you can buy these pads. Now, I have these and these are called Right in the Rain. They're all weather universal pads, and it has a pen that comes from right in the rain also. And you can take these, and you can write in these, and you can make your notes. Um, and if it gets wet, nothing happens to it. If you break down and you have to open this pad up to maybe, you know, say you put some numbers in here, you know, for uh, AAA. Or, you know, whatever the case may be, emergency numbers, you need to call, you know, somebody to come, hey, you know, my car broke down, come pick me up, you know, I'm right here, this mal marker, um, so on and so forth. You know, you can write all this kind of stuff down in here, and it, unless you burn it, it ain't going to get destroyed. It's going to be there. <clears throat> so you take this pad and this pencil, and you can sit here, and I would suggest that everybody go out. And let's go old school here for a minute, all right? 
there's all kinds of GPS that you can do and everything else and um, you know there's tons of apps that I'm going to cover here in a few minutes and everything else but I to totally believe that everybody should know how to read a standard roadmap. It gives you this roadmap here I picked this up this is the large scale it's a 2020 road atlas and I mean this thing is great it's got every state in it it's got a lot of the major cities are in it and the whole nine yards and you can plot out any type of and it's up to date to 2020 you know and I think they're under 20 bucks right around in that area but you can take this and what I would suggest doing is everybody should have more than one plan route before you leave your house for an emergency situation you should also have even if you're just traveling with your family you should have more than one route planned out and write it down into your book just on the chance that something does happen we all know we can't control the future but we can plan ahead and be prepared for what may happen in the future now as I said it may happen it may not but if it does then you have an alternate plan so say you're traveling from say uh, Florida to New York all right I live in Florida say I'm going up to New York all right you're you know you can take your standard you know 95 you can take you know um, 81 there are several different ways that you can get up through there uh, I don't particularly like 95 too much. I, I do use it a little bit, but then I get off, um, you know. But you need to have different. Now, that's just if I'm traveling up north to see family, in which case I usually fly. But if I had to drive, that's how I do it because I don't like going through all the big cities, Washington, D.C., so on and so forth. So all that would be written in here. And then I would also have alternate routes in case roads are closed due to weather. Because up there you start getting in the mountains, um, roads closed due to weather, accidents, anything that's you know unseen. Um, this way here that you can take and you have an alternate plan already in place. If the road closes from this point, all right, I can jump on this road here and I can take that and, and go around. I can cut through this town. You may have to take some country roads maybe depending on where you're going but you already have a plan in place that you know you can go that route. You're not fumbling through your map, hoping that your GPS, you can actually get a signal so you can access something to try to figure out you know, just where you are because a lot of people, especially that live down here in Florida and it's flat as far as the eye can see, your GPS works basically all the time. But once you go north, and you get north of, say, the Mesa-Dixon line, and you start running into mountains, these don't always work because you don't have a cell signal. Um, that's why you would need one of these. And this way here, if you have everything planned out and you have it written out in here in your little planner, you know, and in here you can put a lot of your, your uh, travel information. You can put... Uh, emergency contacts you can put down you can write down your insurance company you can write down your uh, AAA whatever you may have um, all that kind of information can be right in this and I mean you can either carry it in a backpack glove you know put it in the glove compartment um, I mean it's small enough have the wife put it in her purse um, you know just so that it's with you somewhere in the front at all times you know um, just depending on what your situation is. Um, I would also keep a map, you know, I mean, you don't have to get one this big. It's just easier to read, you know, I mean, because some of them, they get really small and you almost need a magnifying glass to read them. So that's why I got the large print because it's very easy to read, very easy to read. And it's all self-explanatory. Um, you would also want to use your little booklet, not just for traveling with fun, this could also be your little booklet to where you're going to have your emergency plan all written out 
and if you have to evacuate, this is the route I'm going, this is how I'm going to get there, this is where I, you know, where I'm going, and then, you know, if you want to make sure that your, your family knows and everything else, you could always just take a picture of it with your phone, and just text it to them. That way there they have a detailed plan, okay, we know that they're leaving because they have to, because of emergency, disaster, uh, bad weather, whatever the case may be, wherever you live. It doesn't have to be a hurricane, you know, blizzard, flood, fire, whatever it is, you know, okay, this is where they're going to be heading to. This is the end point. You always want to make sure that you write down the end point. You know, I have a certain place that I go, and that's my end point, you know. How I get there, there's only a few ways really to get there without driving a long ways out of your way. But if you have to, and that's the only resort you have, then you have to. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about GPS. Now I do have a few things written down over here because there was a lot that I wanted to cover and remember and uh, different apps and things and I just wanted to you know, make sure that I get you the, the best quality information and I could remember it, so I figured I'd just write it down, little cliff notes on what I'm talking about. All right, <clears throat> these are old phones that I have. All right, this one actually still works. Um, but if you have an old phone and you're not using it, and you don't want to spend the money on a GPS thing, and you you know you you don't want to use your regular phone if it's, say it's an emergency situation. So I'm you know I don't don't want to run the battery dead if I don't have to. You know, if you have an old phone and it doesn't really cost you anything, or if you can put it on, you know, uh, one of those Walmart plans or whatever, and you just pay as you go, that would be great. You know, I mean, there you go. You just you, you pay a monthly fee, and when you use up your minutes, and you just add more to it. And you could use that as basically, really, your emergency cell phone. You know, this wouldn't be something you would just carry around like your regular phone in your pocket or whatever. This would be put into your backpack, um, if you put it in your glove box, uh, someplace where, you know, it's not like somebody's going to be able just to take off with it. Now, what I would suggest doing with this is because, you know, I mean, these, just because it's an old phone, it still has a camera on it. You can still take pictures. Now, you take your camera and you can take pictures of all your important documents. You can take a picture of uh, your ID, your passport, any medical necessities that you may need, uh, your prescriptions, um, all that kind of stuff. Any type of personal information that you needed, you could load it on this phone. You could load emergency contacts on this phone, just like you would in this. The only thing is, is if this goes dead and you don't have some way to charge this, which I talked about in a couple of videos back, which I'll put a link to right up here, um, so you don't have some way to charge this, it's no good. That's why it's always good to fall back to your regular pad and paper and pen. And this way here, you've got something to fall back on in case this isn't working. Your phone's not working. You know, you have to have, you have to fall back. Technology is a great, beautiful thing. But when it doesn't work, people kind of freak out. They don't know what to do. So you need to really think about falling back to the old way, the old school way of looking at a road map, finding your way, finding your way around, you know, having your stuff written down, making sure that, you know, you have all your emergency contacts, all your emergency routes. Uh, if you're traveling with your family, boom, everything is in this book. You know, we're going here. This is what we're going to be doing. This is the roads we're going to be taking. Um, this is the alternate route, if we have to do an alternate route. Um, and you may want to have several different plans put in place, you know, either on your phone or on your pad, just in case something happens at different points of your travel destination. Um, compasses. Everybody should have a compass. Basically, it breaks down the, you know, the whole thing for you and it gives you, you know, your coordinates, you know, northeast, southwest. Um, the, the only thing that you would, I mean, really have to figure out is your true north. And I'm going to give you a, a couple of things that you can do to try to figure out your true north. Um, there's so much involved into reading a compass 
and with with a map or a topo map. You know, a topo map basically um, it's a map that shows terrain. So you you would have to really sit down and you'd have to really study and learn how to read the topo map compared to a uh, a road map. Um, this way here you could understand, all right, well that's a thousand feet, you know, this is, you know, to go that way, you know, this is like if, if you had to walk, um, although it could come in handy if you're driving and you really don't know where the heck you are and your GPS doesn't work, you know, and if you can look at this and say, okay, well, you know, east is that way, um, you know, at least you know, okay, if we go east, maybe I can catch, you know, I-81 and then I can cut, get back up and then cut over through some town, you know, and find your way out of a situation. Um, some of these, uh, the apps and stuff that are out there that deals like, you, you know, you have a compass. Um, there's one that's called GPS compass and it's just basically a compass. That's all it is. It's basically one of these. And if you're going to buy one, buy a good one. I paid like 40 bucks for mine. I, I know they get a lot more expensive, uh, but this is what I could afford. You know, I'm a beginner, so you know, it's a great compass, it has, it has all the sights and everything, and um, I thought it was a really good deal, it has, you know, a thing in it to let, make sure it's level on the, the map or the ground or however you're holding it. Um, another great app is GPS Tools. Now this one here, this one goes through a lot of different things. It has all kinds of stuff on there besides your regular GPS. It sets there and it has all your, um, your weather, it gives you your altimeter, it tells you how far, if you are walking, it tells you how far you're walking. If you're driving, it tells you, okay, this is where I started from, this is where I ended, how long it took you, blah, blah. I mean, it does a lot of different things. And these are pretty much free apps. It, they do have some ads and stuff, but it, you just click the little X button and it's gone and it's you're right back to doing what you needed to do. Um, there's another great app out there, it's a UPS, uh, UPS. Uh, U.S. Topo Map, and you can take the Topo Map, and that would be where you'd really have to start learning your terrain. Um, some Topo Maps don't show you too many roads; it's just terrain. So when you look at it, it it's going to be like kind of like a blank canvas with you know mountains and everything else. Like if you looked at one for Florida, there's not a lot to it, you know, because there's not a lot of mountains and stuff but then you get up into the northern states you know the smoky mountains and yeah you know, that type of stuff and then you got all these mountains and ridges and everything else and everything is broken down so you you really have to sit there and study and learn how to read a topo map um <clears throat> there's a great app out there and it is called survival manual now the great thing with this one is you can use it online or offline now this one covers a lot of different survival tips and tricks and everything else and it's a great app and they have on there, um, it's uh, direction and navigation. And on that one there, it breaks it down to where if you didn't have this, you didn't have something like this, you didn't even have a map, and you're trying to figure out which way is north because you know you need to go north. You know, and it breaks it down into using the sun and shadows. It shows you how to use it, like with your watch. Um, it shows you how to do trips uh, with the uh, moon and the stars. Like the true North Star is the last star in the Little Dipper. Not the Big Dipper, the little one. The one that's, you know, kind of faded up there. The last star in that is the true North Star give you a little tip but there's a lot of things that you you know you have to do some studying up on and everything else um, a great website uh, that I found to really it, uh, break down uh, true north magnetic north um, uh, grid north uh, there's all these different norths and it gets really confusing you know and I would just suggest people just you know Try to read a little bit about it. You know, if you go to uh, NOAA.gov and you look up magnetic field calculator, it'll calculate it right down to a pinpoint. And there's all kinds of articles and everything right in 
that government's website that breaks it down. It's really cool, and it will show you how to you you know you can find uh, things on uh, maps, topo maps, how to use your compass, how to adjust your compass uh, for true north compared to just regular magnetic north because there is a difference and. It just depends on where you're at in this country and how you have to adjust it. There is a lot that goes into it. I've watched several videos on YouTube on that and um, they are very lengthy videos. Uh, some of the videos are an hour plus, uh, a couple of them are an hour and a half with uh, these guys and gals trying to explain exactly how to use your compass and how you have to figure out your grid north, magnetic north, and true north, and there's just a lot to it. You would need some time to sit back and just uh, study up on all that. Um, one other thing that I would really like to talk about, and one of the main reasons that I am doing this, I am, I am devoted to providing you people with a much information and knowledge that I can I feel this is very important to get things out there, to get people to think, as I said in another video of mine, you know, out of the, outside the box. Take the blinders off. You know, uh, you, you talk about maps nowadays, some people laugh at you. You know, even if you had just a map of your own state, you could pick those up in Walmart for probably eight bucks, five bucks, whatever they are. You know, personally, I like having a map of, you know, I mean, for 20 bucks, you might as well just buy the Mac Daddy. I mean, you blow 20 bucks walking in a grocery store on a gallon of milk and a loaf of bread. But I just want everybody to really understand that the reason I am doing this is for some reason I feel compelled to get this information out there and to give you the best information that I can give you. I'm devoted to trying to do the best that I can do to make sure that everybody out there understands and realizes the sincerity of the situation that is at hand and that is taking place all around us. Uh, every time you turn the TV on, something else is happening in this world. Um, there's more bad weather, there's more blizzards, there's more floods, there's more fires, there's more tornadoes, there's more hurricanes. We just Today's the last day of hurricane season for, for us here in Florida, you know, and we didn't actually have one hit here, thank the Lord, but, you know, it was one of the most active since, uh, what, the 1960s, they're saying. So, you know, all it would have took is one of those things just, just to move the wrong way, and pow, you know, here we go. We got one coming, you know, right up to kiss her. But, you know... It just all boils back to I am devoted to getting the information out and to making sure that everybody is safe and that everybody has a plan and knows how to basically be prepared even if you're a beginner and it doesn't have to take a lot of money and we're going to be getting in more in depth as we go along here on on how to store food what kinds of food I can store how to do it uh, mylar bags, canning, um, the whole nine yards. You know, I want people to understand this isn't a joke. This is life. This is the life we live in now. And for some reason, I, you could say, had a, an epiphany, if you would. That's a big, big word for me, people. Let me tell you what, people that are watching this and know me, that's a big word. But anyways, that I need to make sure that I do this. I don't know why, but I am, I've gotten lit into doing this. And when I start something, I give it my all. And I'm devoted. I'm compassionate for people. If you please leave comments. Leave comments, you know, hit the subscribe button. Click that little bell so you know, ding, 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 ding. so this way here, when I post my video, you know, it comes out, comment, you know, I'd like to get some chitter chatter going out there. What is other people like, you know, what, what are your, what are your ideas on the subject that we're talking about? It would be great, you know, and have some communication back and forth. 
Um, on that note, you know, I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. We're rolling into the holiday season. Hope everybody stays safe out there when you're driving. Uh, my name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Um, once again, please click that, hit that little like button. Click the share button. Share with all your friends, friends, neighbors, whoever, whoever you're friends with, share it with them. Throw it on Facebook for me. Throw it out there. You know, share it with everybody. Get the word out. You know, this is something new and we're going to, we're going to be rocking and rolling with this. You know, then at the end, hit that subscribe button and click that little bell. Ding, ding. So this way here, you get notified every time that I do a video. I hope everybody has a great Sunday. And I'd like to thank you for everything that you've done so far for my channel, for all the views that I have received on my videos. I am blown away. I didn't think I would get that many just being a beginner like I am. But thank you very much. And until next time, catch you on the flip side.